Turning to Roanoke County tonight, two people face charges after a protest against the construction of the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Yeah, the two protesters tied themselves to construction equipment at one of the building sites early this morning. They were out there for several hours before police eventually took them into custody. Now, just a few moments ago, protesters were gathered at the Roanoke County Salem Jail where the two were arrested. Yeah, that's where WFXR's Anna McDougall is tonight. Anna, walk us through what happened today and what's going on right now. Drew and Kathleen, good evening. Well, as of now, both of those individuals who tied themselves to construction equipment have been released, but those protesting the Mountain Valley Pipeline tell me they are not done showing up and fighting against this project. According to the Appalachians Against Pipeline Facebook page, the purpose of the protest was to prevent tree clearing for pipeline construction. It goes on to say that this pipeline is a quote doomsday device and not consistent with a future where humans can continue to live. Protesters say they are concerned about environmental effects and safety regulations that they believe could be extremely dangerous to people in the area. And this is not the first protest this week. Just a couple days ago, protesters walked on to a Mountain Valley Pipeline construction site and stopped work for over an hour. Crystal Mello is one pro protester who says she's disappointed and angry at government leaders. Well, I think we have to keep showing up like we have been since 2014 against this project uh, because we we can't. That's what we have to do. The every every official has failed us at this point. Mountain Valley Pipeline spokesperson Natalie Cox responds to these protests in a statement sent to WFXR saying they quote condemn illegal and dangerous tactics of individuals and groups who put themselves crew members and first responders at risk by engaging in quote attention seeking criminal behavior. Now again, both people have been released, but they did not want to speak on camera. So what comes next for these people? We don't know exactly at this time in Roanoke County Anna McDougall WFXR News.